Juliet, a Keloi resident of Yerulei village in Abohe sub county called district, is battling for her health at Lira Regional Referral Hospital. A Kelo, who has been living with her stepmother, was locked without eating and drinking for a week. And even when she was rescued, she was already very weak and very frail and malnourished. So, this man decided to tie the girl's legs and then the harms because the, ma the, 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 the girl's mother is late. Juliet's brother said since their mother died, they have been receiving gross mistreatment from both their father and stepmother. Juliet, a killer 10 years old, also epileptic, was locked in a hut with a chicken and rabbits by her father when her stepmother complained she would pass on the disease to her unborn baby when left outside. You can't just leave a child to suffer like that. They are helpless. They are unable to support themselves because they are children. If you see that kid, it's really sad. When someone just talks and says it, you don't see it. Imagine a human being who is locked in the house where chicken and ducks are being kept and rabbits. And you know how ducks and chicken really want the wound. The wound, the big wounds are on both sides of the hips. Trust me, it looks horrible. We have arrested the father of this child, Ayari Tom, who, together with his wife, Akelo Agnes, they have alleged to have denied this child in the house for one week without eating. Cases of stepmothers mistreating and brutalizing their co-wives' children is rampant among many families. Weeks ago, a minor was beaten to coma by her stepmother in Lira City West Division. Irene Nakech is a businesswoman in Lira and has been lending a hand to such children. I don't have an NGO, I don't have a CBO, I'm just as Irene. The only thing I do, I have social capital. When I see a case like this in a community, I put my voice on, on, on social media like Facebook, like Twitter, and then I am so happy that people trust me. However, those who rescued the child feel overwhelmed since her father has been arrested and the brother who is taking care of her at the hospital cannot provide for the necessities. Putting my hands up, requesting anyone who can support this boy, me I'm now looking at the boy because when the girl gets out of the hospital, this boy will need to go and look after this girl. So the boy needs empowerment. The boy has actually been surviving on digging. Tom Manyati, who is the victim's father, has been arrested while his wife Agnes Akelo had just delivered and could not be kept in police cell. Edulwa, UBC News.